All right, Ben, let's start this thing at the end, technically after the Chiefs media availability. It sounds like they got a very healthy chorus of boos from the San Francisco part of this opening night crowd. What were the vibes there as uh, maybe the Chiefs got a little added motivation? Yeah, it, it definitely seemed like uh, the Chiefs were kind of getting the, the brunt of the boos. Like, whenever, like, who was it? Like, Kelsey, uh, Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, Chris Jones, whenever they were speaking, uh, like, a, lo a loud chorus of boos, and, and then whenever it was George Kittle or Christian McCaffrey who got MVP chance or Kyle Shanahan, Brock Purdy, uh, a lot of cheers. And, and uh, just for context, that may have a little bit to do with scheduling here at Allegiant Stadium. So uh, the Chiefs already had their opening night media availability. And uh, the, the San Francisco 49ers are going later. And so uh, it's possible that a lot of the Chiefs fans could have maybe already begun leaving. And then it was really the, Chief, uh, the 49ers fans pouring in but it, it yeah it definitely seemed like uh heavy 49ers faithful here um at least at this portion of the night so i thought that was really fascinating and that actually happened just before i got on this call with you so um so yeah if anything this is more motivation for, for the chiefs who uh definitely feel like underdogs and, and i think when this chiefs team i think that's really been a theme throughout this season feeling like underdogs if anything this is more fuel for them that, that's kind of my gut reaction to that it reminds me of something Chris Jones said when he was talking to y'all during this media availability is basically, I, I don't know when we became so hated. It feels like the chiefs have kind of lived long enough to see them be, see themselves become the villains, but that does seem like the case here. I have a feeling the chiefs aren't going to have a hard time using that as motivation heading into this game. Yeah, I think it's just kind of another thing added to the list, right? I mean, we saw the way they played this season. We saw the offensive struggles. Uh, we saw a lot uh, of kind of like criticism just in the media, national media at large about kind of how this team isn't equipped to get to this point. Uh, and, and so to, to have kind of what happened tonight with, with all the booing, I think it just kind of gets added to the folder for these Chiefs. And, and I think this year we've seen them kind of channel a, a different kind of energy. I mean, in, in previous years, everyone expected them to kind of be at this point and uh, I think with this just kind of being a different iteration of the Chiefs and them being defensive led, uh, just kind of being embodied by having that chip, I think this is just kind of what's happened tonight is just kind of more fuel to them. Uh, so it's going to be fascinating to see kind of how that plays out on the game on Sunday.